welcome to the deserts and diamond dash of the Cape Route Rally. On this rally, we drive up all the way to Namibia and enjoy the dunes which South Africa and Namibia has to offer. The event started in Lambus Bay and the group of 10 plus monster machines arrived for a quick driver's briefing. Some of the faces you will recognize, but there are new monster machines on this rally. And there is no better way to start than at Lambus Bay dunes. So welcome to the Cape Route Rally. We are on the Desert and Diamonds Dash. We've got 2,000 Ks to cover in four days. We've got six dunes to do, and the madness has already begun. The guys are just off the charts. Again, we have even bigger and better cars. So I'm thrilled to be here again. And again, I need to just make sure I make it to the end. So we've done a lot of work to my car after the last trip and uh, there's some fine tuning going on in the background i'm pretty sure we're going to make it but i think the best thing about it is the gears these guys are an awesome bunch of guys it's what we want to see and we really are having a good time What's happening here? Is it just one D bead or is it two? Double D bead. Double D bead. So double D's. Double D bead. I think as the, the, the trip has started, then we've got the first award. <laughs> the, the, the it's called the Tit Award. <laughs> <laughs> so you've got to drink coffee out of that for the rest of the trip. What do you drink, Simon? There's the. There's the. Is it disappointed? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. All right. Do you need a, a shovel or a spade? Do you have a shovel? Eh? Just a cup of hiding the fuck up. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so Jan, thank you so much for accommodating us. It's great to see you again. It's a pleasure. And uh, guys, we're at uh, Lambert's Bay Dunes. And uh, Jan, tell us, what do you need to do to get access to the dunes here? Oh, okay. Uh, well, thank you for the opportunity. You guys are supporting us here. So uh, the next thing you have to do is just to contact us uh, on Sunfeld Safaris. Yeah. Uh, we are with the local guides here. Uh, dedicated to, to the dunes and then uh, contact us and then we can make an arrangement. Minimum booking is four vehicles yeah. uh, before we open up the trail. You need It's a guided trail, you can't come in on your own. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, the, the, the rates are 350 uh, yeah. per vehicle currently and yeah, then we have fun. So this diamonds uh, and dust trip, I thought I'd bring another vehicle, 105 is having a, a couple of days off. Need to do a few mods as usual before these trips, getting uh, get it all ready. Uh, took it into uh, Andrea from Powerflow and she she made the thing bark, but gave it some, uh, some extra power. Had a little chip done on it um, and it's going, it's going well. It's quite a technical bit of sand, it's super soft, it's, it's like talcum powder almost. Um, when, I, when I came in my tires were on like 0.5 and then I quickly dropped them down to 0.3. Um, and uh, it's fun, it's nice to be in something that's a bit different than what you normally used to. Um, it's, it's also, it's quite overcast, so it's not so easy to read the formation of the dune, so you've got to be on your toes the whole time. Excited to be here, third one out, uh, changed vehicles to the single cab, got it kitted this week and yeah, enjoying it so far and we'll see where it goes from here. So we've been having a lot of fun 
and uh, in the moment I realized uh, I'm not getting any voltage from the alternator and I've got electric fans on the vehicle. So we're busy bridging a Ronald's uh, battery. He's got his battery from his fridge that he's donated. So we're bridging it onto the dual battery system here. And we're going to try and make a plan to get another alternator in Springbok. Worst case, we put a solar panel on as well to help out. Anton his patrol doesn't understand the term keep it on its wheels, but thankfully everyone was fine and after a quick check up by the mechanics the patrol was up and running, ready for more action. Everyone on board, let's go boys, let's go, let's go, let's go, go, go. After finishing in Lambert Bay, the team made their way up north to the Koinas area. It was a long and dusty drive with a few stops for on-the-go repairs. The scenery was absolutely breathtaking as the team drove through the sunset and into the night. Okay, it's day two on the Desert and Diamonds Dash. Day one has been spectacular. We've had the best driving roads. We unlocked some private farms and literally drove on the most awesome gravel roads for hundreds of kilometers. We came in late last night. We stayed at a hotel and had a great dinner with all the chaps. Everyone is still pumped. My patrol has taken a bit of a beating in the one dunes at the, <laughs> the hands of my co-pilot. It did a little roly-poly, but mechanically it's still sound. And in two Cape Route Rally style, we're gonna continue as we do. There are lots of men who have had problems with their cars, broken windshields, broken side shafts, alternators that are going wrong. There've been repairs on the road, so, but everyone's just banding together and making it happen so that we can get to the next destination. So we're gonna go off and do some more dunes now, and then we're heading across the border into Nam. Yeah, we had a very, very, very rough hard day yesterday. I had to push the guys. We were, we had some difficulty in the dunes and then we had a, a car Land Rover with a alternator trouble. So we, had, we need to swap batteries all the time. Uh, we arrived here late last night uh, because the landing didn't have any lights and we were uh, traveling through uh, dust rows, very, very, very much dust. So, um, and today, yes, we need to go to uh, Oranjamund and 
got some lost time to make up, so today's going to be in for another hard day for some more dune driving. Hopefully this time bigger dunes, but uh, everyone enjoyed the, the, the gravel road stages yesterday. It was awesome. The pace was very high. We, we, we pushed on. So uh, yeah, looking forward to another exciting Cape Route rally. Right, we're at the dunes, drifting. We've got Brent in his GQ V8 showing us how it's done. The men are not waiting for anyone. They are making this look epic. The level of skills, unbelievable. I've never seen driving like this again. I didn't know it could get any better. I mean, it's just, yeah, Dylan in the landy. This thing is incredible what he can do, really. Cape Root Rally, Desert and Diamonds Dash is happening. Yeah, Dylan! Woo! Next level. My feet are shaking for these guys. Woo! You want to hear the full story? The full story. The full story. The full story is I wanted to do the whole dune. Yeah. <laughs> but I came up short. <laughs> and I was heading down. Yeah. You can see here, yeah. like that. Yeah. I saw a second dip here. Yeah. And then I wanted to come down. And then as I crashed the second dip, I saw the two Hilux Buckies. Yeah. And uh, I didn't feel like riding into them. So I accelerated past. Couldn't break. He dipped. Oh. I actually thought it took it well. Yeah. A lot because I came in hot. Tell us what's broken. So we've broken a ball joint in the steering component yeah. of the tie rod. So we've turned out the one. So normally they come with solid ends. Yeah. You have to buy them that they... A saw blade in that Kennedy box. Uh, no, we checked. And um, he is a scarper Ian. Can you drive out of the dunes if we don't fix this? Yeah. There is no steering. Uh -uh. No steering, no steering. We're looking forward to seeing if you can fix it. Okay, so I'm with Carrot here. He was, well, you have been our tour guide for this session in the dunes. Carrot, tell me, what have you thought about the guys and the machinery that they've brought to the party? Let's see, from my kant of uh, buy like a car, for my uh, for today to with you to come ride, and uh, for you to do this sort of ways. I was not in a group with so so clam capable car by myself, clam like us by myself, and uh, it's like come to see as we here and there a bit of moeilijkheid that they are standing together with each So it's like come you to meet and from my kant of buy, thank you for your support. Thanks for for helping us and obviously guiding us. I mean, just coming into the dunes, you had an epic sort of snake trail going over the dunes and coming back. The footage that I think we got from that and just watching the guys after we finished that first session. For me, I was literally fist pumping and going, yeah, this is amazing. And I felt like I'd just done everything that I needed to do, but that wasn't all that you had in store for us. So cut edit to Carrot in his Jeep drifting on the dunes because your Jeep, tell us about your Jeep. I mean, this it's unbelievable what you've been doing in the dunes. Hmm. Yeah, so it's a standard uh, Jeep Wrangler, Rubicon, 3.6. Um, 
Ek, uh, my tyd, het was pas so, sit jy goed by, sit jy goed by, leer pa goed. Ek self glo, enige duine kar, gaan het meer oor balans noodwendig, as wat het gaan oor kracht. So my tyd ontwikkel jy maar goed het veel werk, en dan, in my opinie nog altyd was, jou beatlock is maar die belangrijkste ding wat jy kan, kan opzit, en dit uh, geef jou baie capabilities, wat jy nie anders in so gehad het. And that's specifically for sand drifting? Ja, en weer eens my opinie, die beste, beste accessory, wat jy kan doen aan elkaar, vir, vir as jy wil drift, yeah. is maar beatlocks. Ja. Alright, and um, I mean, rate these dunes to other dunes that we've been in. I mean, they, they're pretty tall, they've got some sharp angles. I mean, when you watch videos of those guys in Dubai and they're cresting the dunes like this, that's what I've seen you doing today. Ja, ja ek was nou nog nooit, ek het ook al baie van die videos gesien, nog nooit self daar gewees nie. Uh, ons sien het ook maar, probeer dit, en uh, mens krij dit hier en daar recht, so dit is een lekker gevoel. Vir my die duine hier so is, uh, wat ek al in Zuid-Afrika gereid, die lekkerste. Um, en, dit is baie soos die mubbiese duine, het lekker groe duine, lang drifts, en uh, lekker speel ga ek hier so, is een groot verskynheid van goed wat jy kan doen. Um, ons het nou nie vandag vreselijk challenges gedoen wat ons reg het op en af gaan nie, daags is bykie later, maar vir, vir drifting in Zuid-Afrika is hierdie verseker van die lekkerste duine wat ek al gehad in heb. For me personally, it's been amazing, the whole day, morning here has been unreal. I, I was standing there with sweaty palms, my feet were shaking when we got to that one bowl and you guys were drifting. I mean the display of driving with you and a lot of these other guys, the bar is just so high. stuck in the dunes, Petrus's car has broken its steering and even if you can steer with the throttle, you still have to be able to turn the steering wheel. So uh, Kennedy Tools has come to the party and um, we are using quite a lot of their tools between Louis toolbox and my toolbox but here we need a hacksaw and big hammers so there's quite a lot going on there. And this is what it's all about. The guys are coming together and uh, we're gonna have to fix this before we can get out of here. And if we can't fix it, it looks like we're all camping in the dunes tonight. Okay, so we replaced the yeah, like the tie rod rack ends of um, this is the one I snapped it's in pieces here here's the the ball joint that we snapped in the dunes I uh, keeping this as all souvenirs this is how we got out very clever plan mate JP thought of this so we knocked out the ball joint put a bolt through this got us to time out Port Nolith that lady is amazing thank you for helping us out she sorted me out I didn't think I was gonna come right but I got two one for each side so I bought the whole stack and we're good to go. So it's on, I'm steering, and let's go drifting. So we're basically here again. Every time there's a mechanic around, there's GTEC, there's Brent, there's Eric, there's um, Petrus, <laughs> and there's JP. This car just wants attention, right? It literally, it wants upgrades, it wants help. It just, it goes into a limp mode and it says, please touch me. <laughs> Please spend money with me. Please fix me. Please upgrade me. So it's got so many nicknames now that it, it was going to be originally the Black Panther. You know. And then they called it the Bleak Panther. <laughs> and then it became the Golden Arrow. <laughs> then it became Roly. <laughs> now it's just the Black Hole. It's all right. It works on the dino. It's like some Now we are at the Salt Flats at Port Nolith and we've set up a lovely little drag strip.
just going and I just went, oh. Drag racing, it's not for sissies. <laughs> and if you drive the black hole, <laughs> it, uh, it shut, the gearbox shut itself. So try to do a launch, didn't work well. And um, I think there was just too much traction with the weight of 37s. And I did consult to my engine builder, can I do a launch? And he said, yeah, at full RPM. So after you beat me on the first one, I was like, okay, now I'm going full RPM. Full commit. Yeah, full commit. Yeah. All so I'm full commit ended in, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you want to take on this expense. <laughs> So guys, we've just arrived in Namibia. The guys are busy uh, sorting out the last little bit of their paperwork. We are heading to Opikopi, which we've stayed at before. The guys are frothing. We've got a spit bribe plan for tonight. Really? Yeah. We've got uh, kegs of beer sponsored by King's Craft Brewery. So there's going to be some nice beer on tap. The sun is busy going down in the background and um, I'm now a passenger because the black hole, aka the patrol, <laughs> has uh, broken again. It's back in Port Nolith with a team of mechanics. They're busy removing the gearbox. There's another gearbox being driven from Cape Town through the night to arrive there in the morning. They're going to fit the next gearbox. And when we come back from NAM, then hopefully I'm back in my car and on the trip and I'm going to do my best to <laughs> get it to Hundukluk Pai after that. Um, if we have time, we're going to drive the Koenas Dunes. And from there, we're going all the way through to Atlantis. So we said we're going to cover 2,000 kilometers. We said it was going to be tough on man machine. Well, let me tell you, I think no one has had zero issues. Everyone's had some form of issue. It's totally part of the game, but the Gears and the vibe and the excitement is still up here. So I'm excited to be here. It's like fresh air coming here. And um, yeah, we're gonna have a, go a good night tonight. Uh, day two of actual trip, I think. Uh, we are now in a Ranyamunt, just got over the border about an hour ago, which was a bit of an ordeal with getting 30, 30 people across, it took some time. Um, we just have dune driving today, it's been amazing. Um, I've ne I don't know cars could do what I saw today. Um, I've been very humbled. Uh, sat on the sidelines a lot of today um, in awe of uh, the driving skills that these guys have got. Um, yeah, uh, I learned a lot. Um, uh, yeah, it was a great, great trip. We've got Sven Eric Vading all the way from Tromsø, Norway, joining us on Cape Route Rally. How the hell did you come to being with us in Cape Town, South Africa? Well, you need to have some great friends like this and who invites you on trips like this, and here I am. I couldn't say no to this possibility. So, have you watched our videos? I mean, what's the story? What's the gig? Why did you make the decision to come here? I choose not to watch the videos because I want to come unprepared and do it this thing so but the most fun is to do the experience blind and see whatever happens that so, was my choice eric does have some uh, some experience in driving um i think we first met each other at the nurburgring on the nordschleife that was probably what 15 years ago yeah approximately somewhere around there we've done plenty of laps around the nordschleife spa many other european tracks it was only two months ago, and you and I were at Spa and Nürburgring together. <laughs> Having fun there also. Yeah. So, um, you do drive instruction there? Yeah, I do. Drive instruction at Nürburgring and Spa, and also some, some in Portugal. Wherever it's needed, then I do that just for freelance and for fun. All right, so now you've joined us on the Desert and Diamonds Dash. What sort of experience have you got with this kind of driving? None really. The only thing I've done back in Norway is uh, mud driving and a lot, lot slower speeds than this. It's just like crawling and getting stuck and winching and uh, nothing climbing or anything. So this is a totally new experience and really, really fun.
South African party in Namibia, you end up on your own, deflating tires. You're not sitting or you're not anything. It's like having a little chill here. You get a couple of hours, and we're good to go again. We've just arrived at the Ranyamont uh, dunes in Namibia and we're about to let rip on these beautiful, beautiful beasts. The guys were having an absolute blast in the vast Namibian dunes. Soft sand, large dunes, and the boys were just sending. So we're at the uh, Orange River mouth here, um, just spent the morning charging in the uh, in the dunes here, Runyamont dunes. They are massive, they are huge, likes of which I've never seen before. Super thick sand, very enjoyable, hooning, carrying on and just going wild, it was, it was awesome. Now we're just having a little uh, relax here before we drive up back over the border. And uh, next stop, I think, is um, Honda Klippai. Stop there for a bit. But enjoying, having a, an absolute blast here. <laughs> so, over the night we went into Namibia and poof, here I am back in Port Nolith. The patrol is working. So, literally, somebody drove through the night to bring a gearbox for me. Mechanics worked through the night to take the other one out. In the morning, swap over occurred. We played in the dunes, we had lunch in Aranyamont. We drove back the border. I've just got my car back. She's a little bit beaten up. Black Betty's not doing so well on this trip. 
she actually doesn't do very well <laughs> on all of the trips. But um, yeah, happy to be back in the rally. As I've come in, it looks like Andrus has come out, so his big 5.9 litre Cummings motor has seized. So that is definitely not something that we're going to be able to fix here. The action. The action. It's just action all the time. Whew, it's heartbreaking sometimes. The highs, the lows, but um, I think the, um, the whole experience, this is what we have for, right? It's all happening on the Cape Route Rally. So videography here for the weekend. Uh, we just headed back today, about 200 k's back from Namibia. Hit the dunes today, it was insane. Um, but all I can say is, I think what happens in Namibia stays in Namibia. Um, so I can't tell you much about it, but maybe I could just show you what I mean. So let's go have a look at what ha what's happening. Desert and Diamonds Dash. Whew, is it delivering? Everyone behind me is busy getting their cars ready. We've got a one hour stop to get fuel. There's some concerns for a few men over here. Push for another two hours, then we have a brunch. Push for another three hours where we're going to Atlantis where we're going to meet some friends and family and people that we know. We lost um, Andrus' uh, Cummings uh, patrol as we were getting my patrol in. so. There's a shake up in, in the order of seats, who's sitting in the cars. Uh, last night, I don't know whether it was because of the full moon or we came back from Nam, but something just happened at one point and the guys were just totally changed. Um, it was a little bit scary, I must say. I felt like I was in some kind of horror film, but um, we seem to have woken up this morning okay, so <laughs> glad for that. But yeah, we've got to get on the road, we've got to hit it hard. Let's do this. Say goodbye to the last gravel road. Thank you, Tom. Thank you, Tom. I'm not even a skeptic. I'm not It's been a good trip. Windshield, rack ends, the tire, and no petrol. <laughs> but that's because the petrol station is right over there.
at the fuel station and um, this morning when I put the phone call into the wife to tell her how things are going and that our plan is to be at Atlantis at like one, two o'clock and she's structuring her days with the kids and everything and sleep times. She wants to arrive there at exactly one o'clock and I said, whoa, 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 whoa. I know it's the last day, but something's still gonna happen, right? It always does on the Cape Rude Rally. So Beatrice uh, had a big hole in his tire, he had to stick three plugs in it and then he ran out of fuel. So we had to send Eric back to go and recover him. So that cost us, I don't know, 20 minutes, 25 minutes, but uh, everyone's still jovial, everyone's still happy, so rock on, baby. Right, so I got gifted these Escape PSC covers from the previous rally, and it's been phenomenal. Firstly, there are no seat covers for the GQ available, this model. So they scanned it for me, they made it, they put pockets, they did everything for me. I think it's awesome. The seat actually almost feels better. You got extra storage, it's tough. Look at this, a whole trip, come zoom in here. It is just, everything is clean. It's rugged, it's, and it actually makes the seat more comfortable. It like adds density to it, which I like. But this is quality stuff. I can highly recommend it. So in the front, you got a little net bag here. Keep some sunblock, odds ends. I got a little zip bag here. I normally keep my tie deflators and valve pullers in here. Zip this up. It's not going anywhere. It's neat. It works. That side as well. You saw those pockets on the side. At the back as well, there's a nice back pocket for you. So you have extra storage. Protected seats. And it sits awesome. of the Cape Route Rally. We're just finishing up. We've got our last stop at Atlantis. It's been an amazing, wild experience. Um, and uh, yeah, I just want to give some feedback on the Max Trek uh, shoes I've had fitted. It's the third rally I've done in a row, and this is the third set of tires I've tried. And these are the ones that are staying. These are absolutely fantastic. Bang for buck. I don't know if you're going to beat it. We've done Namibian dunes, rough, rough, rough gravel terrain, um, high speed stuff, smooth gravel, tar, we've done absolutely everything. Um, and it has churned up and come to the party in a massive way. Um, it's, uh, yeah, I was dubious about it at the beginning, you know, don't know the brand, and uh, I thought, you know what, let's try something. And uh, Anthony kindly. Uh, spoke to Max Trek, who are sponsors, one of our sponsors, and uh, they did a nice deal for me. And uh, yeah, it's uh, fantastic. I'm just going to fit out all my cars now. <laughs> it really has been great. Uh, a lot of the guys, we ran two, we ran two, three sets on this trip, and they all had the same feedback. It's been exceptional, great driving pleasure. Uh, we did a, a private farm twisty, windy, bumpy, and we were doing it at a speed, and, and it was just, car, the car was jumping into corners, and drifting, sliding, and just grabbing onto everything. Uh, I was blown away. My co-pilot couldn't believe it. He's got an FJ as well, and he's gonna fit them. He's just like, I, I cannot believe how these things are like glue on the road. So yeah, here we are, Atlantis. This is the last, the last test for me. Um, otherwise, I'm, I give it a 10 out of 10.
probably covered close to 2,000 kilometers. This team of epic people behind me drifted every dune they could come across. It was tough. As uh, Travis from the UK said in episode two, there were highs and there were lows, and a lot of us had that. It was an emotional journey at times, but the highs always outweigh it. And here we are in Atlantis. We've made it. The patrol made it only to the parking lot. <laughs> and literally, as I reversed in, it said, ta-ta, goodbye, and it died, and now it won't run. So that's as far as I could limp it on this rally. But here we are. Cape Route Rally! Let's go! Let's go, go, go!